I thought your hairline wasn't real. I don't have a hairline, I'm bald. Oh yeah, I forgot. Poor, poor Ved. I don't care. It's actually, um, I'm over it because I'm just uh, giving representation to all of the men out there that are afflicted with male pattern baldness, and I'm actually doing a good thing. Wow, you really are doing a favor to all the bald men out there then. Yeah, so how are you going to make fun of me for that? I'm sorry, it's just too easy. Go ahead, make fun of me for being bald. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying it's too easy for me. Do it, go ahead. Okay. So missed you at Minecon this year, not like you were invited or anything. I don't want to go to Minecon. Maybe I'm just projecting. Maybe you are. Maybe you want to go to Minecon. Is that what it is? Okay, fine. Now I've admitted it, I don't want to go to Minecon. It just sounds like a bunch of losers hanging out together anyway. So you don't want to go? Yeah, I'm actually going to a wedding instead. Whose wedding? It's my cousin's wedding. She doesn't know how to do a guest list and I didn't have the heart to say no. Can I come? Uh, you need to ask her. I don't know if she wants a bald man at her wedding. I'll be honest with you, I have lost my confidence a little bit. I'm a little scared now. Well, I know this dating app called Bald and Beautiful, and they're like a 100% success rate having people. Bet they'd help you. Is it free? That's a good question. I think it might be a subscription service. I'll pay. How much? I don't know. Five dollars a month. And I can guarantee you'd be matching with girls in no time. Five dollars a month? I mean... That's like one Twitch sub. Trust me, you'll make it back x10. I'll make it back? You could even buy sparkles with the money you'd make back. Then you'd be doubly good. How would I make it back? You could use your new dating skills to start a business mentoring other bald guys. Call it Bald and Beautiful. I isn't that name taken? You can get around copyright. The Baldy and Beautiful is catchy. I'm just gonna Google this, make sure it's real. Um... Have you tried Googling Bald and Beautiful yet? Um, there's a podcast by the same name, but I think actually this may, might not be trademarked. You might be onto something here. You could probably register it for yourself. Then form a coaching team with the rest of Baldy Squad. You could be right. Okay, the problem is, here's my issue, right? Say, say I set this up. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of demand for the men, right? There's a lot of bald men out there that want that. But how many women are there out there that would be interested in such a site? I've met quite a few, honestly asking for a friend, but I'm sure there's a market for it. You might also want to consider the other side to your business. Maybe there's some bald women out there looking for love too. You're right. Bald women. That's genius. Besides, bald women tend to be bad bitches. You'd be surprised. She was pretty badass. What the fuck? Do I have not a, a, a filter? How can you say that word? I just think the world is misunderstanding bald women. How the, the fuck is The conversation just got a little derailed the there. My bad. You're becoming desensitized to it. No, 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 no. Say that again. I said you are becoming desensitized to it. No, the other word. I just think that's the wrong way to look at bald women. Bitches. I don't think that is a bad word. You can't filter every bad word. Say it again. Don't call them bitches, they're just misunderstood. Okay, right. I guess, maybe I just didn't add that to the filter. That's, that's on me, really. It's okay. I've met a lot of insulted bald women today. It's been a long day. It has been a long day. That's so true. How's it going on that new dating site? I... I haven't signed up yet. 
you know, I don't know what I would write on my dating profile. Well, what some people do is they say how everyone thinks they have a great personality, so sign up to find out why that won't change. Can you help me make my dating profile? I might not be best suited to this, I'll be honest. My success rate isn't great so far. Only ever managed to date a CPU. Same, I understand. I feel as if I'm getting better at it these days, though. Really, it's only a matter of time. Well, it'll be good practice for both of us, okay? I need your help. What do you want to put on your profile? I just, I just need you to write me a dating profile, please. Okay, how about this? Hey, ladies. My name is Vidal. I run a few Twitch channels and am an overall tech wizard. I would best describe myself as a bald, beautiful guy. Chad insults me a lot and says I'm washed up. Prove them wrong by messaging me. Yeah, I'm just getting it all in. Uh... That's a work in progress. <sighs> it could still use a little work. Okay. No, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Yeah, you've done good here. Are you sure we can't improve this? Pros, a great pair of legs. Cons, a weird obsession with sparklers. The rest is all pretty standard. Same stuff you read over and over again on dating profiles. Is that a common con for me? Like, do I have a, like a weird obsession with sparklers? I just actually never noticed that before. No, just you. I think it's a unique quality. You'll find your special someone soon. You think so? Yeah, I think you'll meet someone that appreciates you for you soon enough. People are all different and I think someone out there will enjoy your little quirks like your hair and your unique obsession with sparklers. Why did you have to remind me about my hair? I really be forgetting about it until you bring it up again. Did I tell you how much I love sparklers? That was really random. I'll be honest, I forgot your hair again. But I'm glad you enjoy sparklers. <sighs> Nora, I have a problem. My entire chat is spamming at me right now to tweet this dating profile. Don't give in, stick to your guns, and pay me for my advertising services. Only $5 just has a state and it goes to $10, that's two prices in one. This is a limited time offer. But you should've- okay, I wouldn't have done this if you told me it was paid before. You can't tell me afterwards. It's called upselling, have you never heard of it? Like when you go to McDonald's and they ask do you want fries with that? Well, I didn't know. You don't learn unless you're taught. That's the first step of business. Damn, okay. Okay, here's a strategy. Just tweet it and we'll move on from this. Sometimes you just have to concede to them. It's like you're the president and they are the people asking for a raise. But if I was the president and they were asking me for a raise, I would just ignore them. But what if they started rioting? Sometimes you've just got to appease them. Mmm, that is kind of true. <clears throat> okay, yeah, they, they seem to be writing. Okay, do I tweet it with the pros and cons though, or just this part? Just tweet the part about how chat think he's washed up. Then they'll stop rioting and you can move on with your day. Great. Great. Okay. <sighs> Don't be shy. Uh... Uh, ah, 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 okay. Why? Why do I have to do this? Why? You're like the president. You just need to appease your people. And you can do it in silly ways like this. <coughs> oh, it's so bad. But your people, they need this. Right now. Oh... Maybe it'll spark a revolution and you'll actually get a date. Wouldn't that be something? Do you think so? That's why you gotta tweet it now. It's actually perfect timing. If you do it now, they'll see it before someone closes their eyes. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Good luck. 
it hurts. It hurts. What if someone sees it and thinks it's serious? Like, like I would. So, okay, the number of people that are going to see it, there statistically at least one person is going to see this and think I'm being for real, and that brings me great pain. That's the risk you take when living in a zoo like this. Ah. It's okay. I've seen worse. I tweeted it. Good job. That's real authoritative. Oh, that's that's so bad. At least one person thought it was serious. No. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. You'll find someone who'll love you for your little quirks like being bald and having a weird obsession with sparklers. Maybe it'll be worth it, you know? I'm telling you it'll spark a revolution and you'll actually get a date. Wouldn't that be something? I would only need to date one girl if they were just really rich and then just paid off my debt for me. Cause you are coming off kinda shallow, to be honest. <sighs> you may need to consider looking in another direction if that's the only reason you have to date. Well, no, 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 it's okay. Do you, do you know any, like, uh, daughters of billionaires? Why did you write beautiful girl? Is that not what she said? <laughs> People say you're more likely to attract a rich partner if you focus more on growing your wealth than actively seeking them out. Wait, what did she say? She said, you'll find someone who'll love you for your little quirks like being bald. No, no, no. And having a weird obsession okay, wait. with sparklers. Can you read back the dating profile I'm thing? I'm paraphrasing here. The thing that starts with, hey ladies, my name is Vettel. Read that back. Hey ladies. My name is Vettel. I run a few Twitch channels and am an overall tech wizard. I would best describe myself as a bald, beautiful guy. <laughs> ah, yes, you're a bald, beautiful guy. A sparkly one, too. Fuck. It's okay, man. Life isn't all about your hair. Also, watch your language. My bad. My bad, guys. I, um, that's, uh... That was a misinput. I, um... You'll get through this rough patch. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> why did I write girl? Good. You deserve this vasectomy. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? I said good, you deserve this vasectomy. The irony is actually kind of funny. I hope you see that. I almost spat out my water. Ha! I wish I could have seen that. Not literally, obviously, that would be disgusting. But I would have found it quite funny. What the fuck? Um, Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of your squeaky clean head. That's... that's so me. Yeah, my squeaky clean head. Okay. 